Hey guys, welcome back to Cracked Housing Fab. We have a shocking episode coming up for you. <laughs> so we get to mount the shocks on the front of our cross cart. All right, so working on getting this uh, shock set in place, we want to put the load down to the lower control arm, but we actually have the CV shaft that'll be in our way. So we're actually going to build two metal platforms or uh, plates that come up that'll like tunnel around the uh, drive shaft. And then our shock will mount to that because we want all the pressure to be down on the lower one. So I'm going to make a template out of cardboard and see how it looks. That's right, some uh, cardboard aided design. <laughs> and just so you know, these came out of the dirt bike that we used for not so simplicity. Oh, yeah. And then we bought another one online, so it's gonna go to the other side. All right, so we took the template and we turned it into these cool little brackets. It turned out pretty nice. And uh, so we got this one welded on over here, tacked on in place. Just makes that nice little cavity for the drive shaft to go. Yeah, and we put this piece of tube on here just so we could see where the, the, the shaft was gonna end up once we make that shaft. Yeah. And then here's a temporary bolt to hold the shock. So the shock goes in there nicely. What happened to our two? Because this is for the drive oh. shaft. Get <laughs> that out. Set that in there. Similar to that, maybe here, here. Yeah, we got to figure that part out. And then, yet. We, then we can space this in here, but I think it looks great. Nice and beefy. We get that all welded in. We'll put some spacers here on both sides of the shock to fill in that bolt so we can tighten it and not smush it. But yeah, it looks good. Yep, and then kind of get a good front view. So obviously once you see both in there, it'll be kind of cool. You'll have that coming in. We'll build the, the bracket and mounting locations in the center. That's gonna be pretty sweet. So now that we have all these parts made, we'll get the other side done. That's right. And we used cardboard aided design. All right guys, we got the other side put on. So that's all set, matching the other side. And this is roughly how it's gonna be. And now we're gonna design the piece that's gonna go in the center. All right, guys, I'm sitting here from the driver's seat of the cross car, and you can see, we didn't want to bore you with like us cutting this piece out, so <laughs> we went ahead and made it, but yeah, Kurt, why don't you tell them what we did? Yeah, so we made this brace, and I'm gonna trace it on the metal and cut it out, but we thought this design was pretty cool, and it also makes for when we do our roll cage, the pipe will come up through here and then go up over, and it's kind of centered to this, and it has just a cool look to it, and it also has good cross support between the two shocks, you know, pushing on each other. But I think that's going to be pretty cool. Heck yeah. And then you got to think, when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, we're going to have our gauge cluster right there, so it's really not going to block our field of view. I think it's going to be pretty good.
guys, I turned the template into the real thing. So we got our shock towers mounted up. That looks really cool. Man, this thing freaking turned out so awesome. And I got the, you can kind of see the shape that we came up with. We did all this with a bandsaw, plasma cutter, and a die grinder with a carbide bit. <laughs> that was I mean, a lot of cutting. Yeah, it took us, what would you say, about three hours to make those, I'd say yeah. at least. And then we had the ones down below we made. Yeah. Well, I think it looks awesome once we get the upper frame tubes run through those cutouts. Oh yeah. Yeah, because the frame will kind of come up through here and then shoot up. It's kind of hard to yeah. tell in video, but yeah, we kind of have a vision for that, so. Well, should we take it off the jack stands? I think we're ready to take it off the jack stands. First time. Uh, Might be a little stiff. Yep, <laughs> we're definitely gonna have some adjustment to do, I think, but. Oh yeah, she's a little stiff. <laughs> but I mean, they're adjusted pretty strong. Well, not only that, we don't have all the weight on there yet either. Yeah. We still probably have 75, 80 pounds, maybe 100 they, pounds. They work. Yeah. Dude, that's cool. Keep doing that, get a little close up. And obviously the right lane bolts for the lower. Yeah, we have we have to get some hardware and stuff like that. And add some spacers into this spot right here. Kind of strengthen oh, yeah. everything up. Yeah, once we get that stuff all tight. Oh, that's so Dude, exciting. It's cool, this is the first time it's sitting under its own weight on the tires. Wow. And we have some other things. We're gonna add some braces in here. Just to kind of tie everything together, but. Dude, I love it. Man. I mean, that's, that was a long 10, 12 hours probably total. Yep, to totally get it all done, but. At least, yeah. I love it. All right, guys, we got the shocks on. It was awesome, a ton of work, but it turned out freaking sick. So uh, yeah, thanks all for watching, guys. Remember, may remember, comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you in the next one.